Welcome back. And with me now is Dr. Diana Greenlee and Brandon Buras, Louisiana State Park System, to talk about our World Heritage Site, Poverty Point. Welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, Brandon, tell me a little bit about the facility and, and what we're planning going forward uh, with Poverty Point. Thank you, sir. Um, Poverty Point World Heritage Site is exactly that. It's a World Heritage Site. When we say World Heritage Site, we're talking about culture significant places such as the Grand Canyon to be compared to in the United States. But it's an incredible facility located in northeast Louisiana uh, where we have a wonderful museum and grounds there so the public can come and tour and understand the cultural significance of the great site. Um, we have a lot in development from virtual reality and augmented reality presentations coming to better show the, uh, the site to the visitors and also uh, expanding our tram system to allow for more people to access the site including an accessible tram sir which I know is important to you for allow all citizens to get out there and, and see the great things the site has to offer. And, and Dr. Greenlee, you have been involved in this facility from day one in helping uh, then Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden in, in the quest to get it named a World Heritage Site. Tell us a little bit about that journey and, and what a great success that has been. Well, we had a great team that worked together on that, putting together the nomination dossier and um, working with the National Park Service Office of International Affairs, um, and then traveling to Doha, Qatar, to um, actually watch the World Heritage Committee inscribe the site. Wow, and that started how many years ago? It was. Well, it really started in 2007 wow. when we submitted our application to be on the tentative list. So it was a long process. And, and I know one of the things that we're excited about, you know, obviously the challenges of the location of getting there ha has made uh, a little challenge to get visitors to go there. I know school groups have been really uh, excited about going there. Tell us a little bit about that, Brandon, uh, and, and excited about the... Uh, facility for the school children to go. Yeah, here in Louisiana, uh, the World Heritage Site of Poverty Point is taught in the core curriculum. And so it's a great incentive uh, for schools to get out and experience it. And pre-COVID, we were seeing between 700 to up to 900 school groups in a single year come through the site to, uh, to experience and learn hands-on what, what the site has to offer. Well, I know now with the Viking Cruise Line next year, planning on docking and bringing tours there, uh, we're talking about many improvements from pavilions to a new museum, and, and, and we would even like to see a, a wow factor. Maybe it's a building where they recreated uh, how they built those mounds over 3,400 years ago. Uh, just something that people go there and go, wow, you've got to go see it to go on top of uh, that great historical site. And I know the more people we get to go there, the easier it is to secure funding and invest in those improvements to that site that is sure to draw visitors from all over the world. Oh, yes, sir, 100% correct. We, we're continuing to, uh, to improve the site, modernize the site to allow for better access. You know, one of the great things about the site is that it is, it's re remains relatively untouched. Only a small percentage of it has actually been, has been um, searched for and uh, searched throughout and, and investigated. So it's a pristine site, and we're continuing to find ways and reasons to promote it and to bring in those new visitors. And, Doctor, I know uh, we do do some digs out there with students and universities. Um, and is that continuing and do you look at uh, seeing more of that happen in the future? Well, we do do excavation still, but we also do a lot of newer techniques like geophysical surveys that allow us to map what's underground without, uh, dis without disturbing it. And wow. so the least that we can disturb but still get the information that we want, the better it is in terms of preserving the site for future generations. And that, uh, that's great news because that will greatly help us as we try to bring things to life uh, in a wow factor to let people know what's down there. So um, if you haven't been to Poverty Point, you've got to go uh, to have that site here in Louisiana and not visit it is a crime. But uh, thank you all so much for being with me and all you do uh, for Poverty Point.